Hi and welcome on Flyfish Fly Tying. So thanks for all people who have subscribed um, in the last two months. Um, I really appreciate that. So this really helps me to grow that channel. And thanks for all the positive comments, the negative comments, the likes, the dislikes. Um, yeah, keep going like this. I like your comments. So this video is um, due to a comment I got on which fly boxes do I use for my fly tying. So for storage, I get the question that way, but also for fishing. So I have mainly um, three types of boxes. So I have stuff like this Umqua box, the CNF boxes in different sizes. So this is the water resistant boxes, which I use while fishing. And then I have this pretty tiny small boxes, which I really like um, to keep them in the west somewhere or in a backpack so it's really good to have them for flies you not use that regular so don't estimate I do not use regular um, surf candies I use them if they're good but normally my regular pattern is shrimp patterns for sea trout and then you see my night patterns as well in here so I will tell you a little later why I choose those boxes and then I have storage boxes so you can use boxes like ever you want so this is plano boxes but you also can use um, I think it's vivas boxes or whatever you find so what I think is important that they are clear so you, that you can see what is in so um, I will guide you through the boxes and why I use them and then also um, you will see a little bit what I like on them and what probably I do not like on them so if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Give me a comment um, to tell me what you like to see better or what you like just and you want to comment that you like it. Or if you dislike something, so please give me feedback. So it's very important to get better via feedback. So thanks a lot for subscribing and um, yeah, let's keep it going. So the next one will be a fly tying video again, probably or a material review. So I'm not sure on what I do, but you will see another video soon. Thanks. Have a good day. Ciao, ciao. So, yes, now I would like to show you the different boxes. So these are the CNF design boxes. This is the one for bonefish, I guess. Grand Slam is the model. So you see there's different models. It's another Grand Slam for bigger flies. So in this one, you see it has single, um, this micro cut it uh, foam things but it has separated ones so you see this is my sea trout flies for or salmon flies for the rivers um, yeah I really prefer this box for smaller flies because you not have this um, full go through um, foam also if you want you can put in another layer so that you have three four compartments so one two three four um, I don't do that because for me um, it gets too packed in the box then, but you can if you like this option. So look for the blue one here. This is a different one where you really can store bigger flies in, which I like. Um, so you see my Patagrisen variants here, um, for example, which are long flies and then um, they hold pretty tight, so fell not out, which I think is important due to the micro cut it um, foam thing. And um, yep, I really like that one. In terms of taking them to the water in the west or whatever you use, I like the smaller ones pretty well. Um, so here you can see this is um, two different boxes, right? So the black one, the um, foam is through the whole box. Here you see single individual um, compartments for the flies. Um, so this one I use for smaller flies and this one for the bigger ones. So, but I, you see a lot of my shrimp patterns here. So this is really my, my sea trout box I always have with me and this one normally too. And then the bigger ones are, yeah, sometimes I use them, sometimes not. I bought this one in the US. I really like it too. It's an Umqua box. Um, it's not pretty filled, but you have on this side, you can store bigger flies, which I like. So you have this longer foam um, stuff where you really can put in big flies. It's also um, like those. You can see, and I like that on them, they have a um, 
they are water sealed and they are water resistant. So if they fell into the water, they normally swim, which is important if you're on the coast or yeah, on rivers, wherever. So this one is water sealed as well. So you see on the other side, and it's not, there's no flies in, but you also have the possibility to put smaller flies in different sizes, which I pretty much like. I, I bought it. It's not, I have it since a year, but I never came in and sorted something like that in to just take one box with me to the water, but I probably will this year and test it. And then you see, this is my two clear, very simple, cheap boxes, not water resistant, but um, here, for example, you see my um, surf candy patterns, um, sand eel patterns. So I, I really like these boxes because um, they are very small and you just can place them in the West pretty easy. You always can take them with you. So this is more for the spare flies. I not use that often, so I use them often, but I more use shrimp patterns. And also for my flies for night fishing, um, I have one of them because I not do that regularly. I do not need a ton of flies, so there's normally two, three patterns swimming, and then I have some which um, sink. So I really like this as a, as a box too. And then um, for storage after tying, I use this Plano boxes. So they come in two different sizes. Um, you can use um, versus boxes. There's many, many boxes. What I think is important that they are clear. So like those that you can see what is in. Um, I really think that's a disadvantage on the CNF um, boxes. Anyway, they're my favorites, but um, I would like to have them clear as well because you it's, it's very nice if you can see which flies are in. That's why I have the different colors on the CNF boxes that I know one is my regular box, the other one is with shrimp. Um, so um, that's why I have them in different colors, even if they all are different also in the way how the compartments for the flies are made. Yeah, on the storage boxes, so you see I have a lot of um, pike patterns in here and uh, probably for sea bass some flies. What I like is that you can um, adjust your compartments to the size of the fly. What I want to avoid is that the fly is in like that because normally it stays like that then a little bit. I don't like it that much if I take them out to fish with them. Um, I want to have them lying long. So you see very nice pike pattern here. And then I use the smaller one as well because um, just in terms of space so you can see there is um, one of the flies are recently tied so my my glass shrimps in here for example so normally they are fuller but I just uh, yeah sold some and gave some to friends so but this is how I store my flies um, yeah if you have interest in more videos just let me know and um, yeah, I would be happy if you subscribe or if you give me a thumbs up if you like that Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Ciao.